Hello, everyone. Welcome for another session of Cloud Careers Journeys. Today, we have Ryan with us. Talk about Rackspace. Why, why you felt that cloud or maybe the model of services as a means infrastructure or platform as a service is going to success? What, what was your uh, decision point then sticking to that field? Because you were shifting and probably you could move to another field also, but why you stick to it? Sure. So, uh, I mean, I, at Rackspace, I first just started out as a as systems engineer. But because of my business background, they quickly recognized that I'd be much better as a solutions architect because, you know, I had been a, I had a head of my own companies. I knew exactly how startups worked. I knew how to talk the language as well as being technical. So they moved me over to become a solutions architect and a solutions architect there for a couple of years. But the problem, I didn't find it very interesting because I worked in the small business segment and small business segment is always two web servers, two database servers, that's your redundancy. And it was always just four server solutions. And then I really wanted to get out and do much bigger, you know, much bigger deployments, like 50 servers, 100 servers, an enterprise solutions architect, essentially. So I left Rackspace and I went over to another company and there I was working on about 20 server solutions. Uh, to, you know, yeah, B server farms of about 20. And then I worked there for a year and then I went over to SunGuard Availability Systems and that was proper enterprise. That was hundreds of servers across multiple data centers. We had to do all the MPLS, so all the networking. We had to do disaster recovery. We had to manage the failover from one data center to another using, you know, NetApps or whatever. It was really hardcore technical infrastructure, like physical infrastructure, I should say. And then, you know, the whole time I've been watching Amazon and um, and Amazon released CloudFormation. And I suddenly had a holy crap moment when I saw CloudFormation because I was like, well, I'm an infrastructure architect, but in five years, everyone's going to just want to be cloud architects who design things in CloudFormation because you can just script all this now. You won't have any need for somebody who, you know, the physical data centers are probably going to go away. Everyone's going to start outsourcing to cloud and the big demand will be for cloud architects. And then I got paranoid again. I was like, I've just spent all this time going from being a lawyer and, you know, as a lawyer, suddenly I had really high skill set, but no demand for my skills. I was like, if I stick in infrastructure as a cloud infrastructure architect, you know, on premise, then I'm going to have all these really high qualifications, but no demand for my skills. I've just made the same mistake again. So that actually panicked me. And, and then I was like, right, I need to get started. That started my AWS certification journey. I was like, I need to get AWS certified. I need to become a solutions architect with Amazon because that's the, the future. So that's how, you know, my transition from Rackspace all the way through. Um, yeah, I just became obsessed with not going through the same experience again, where I'm highly qualified in a, you know, in a field where there's no demand for my skills. So yeah, then I started trying to learn AWS. And which year was that? That was in 2014, the end of 2014. So around Christmas time. And the problem I had back then is there was no online courses, like nothing. Cloud Guru did not exist yet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, there were online platforms where I'd been learning IT, but nobody had really created any online courses for AWS. And you could do the training, but it was in classroom. And it was 1500 pounds a course, and I didn't have that kind of money free. And you had to take four days off to go, you know, into the classroom. And even then they weren't really teaching you. They were just giving you like high level. Overview kind of. It was, yeah. It wasn't really covering what was needed for the exam. So to be honest, I don't even really remember. I just read through all the white papers. I just played around in the console. It was using Reddit quite a bit, like saying, you know, where people were giving their experiences. And I just, as I was learning, I started creating slide decks to help me, yeah, to help me basically memorize everything. And then one day as I was creating these slide decks, I was like, man, if I pass this exam, I should just create an online course because no one's done it yet. And, you know, yeah, it was a great way to make some side income. And so, yeah, I did the, I think it was the 9th of January, 2015. I sat the exam and passed, thank God. And, and then I, I basically just started, the, I had started recording a course actually launched this right as i was studying i started like just recording me talking about the slides 
so there's no face to camera it was just me talking over the slides and you know almost talking to myself really and i launched the course just before i went into the exam so i had no idea if i was going to pass or fail and then when i passed the exam i came out i was like right i need to update the course to include this 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 and yeah it was it was crazy like i had no money back then you know i had a, a newborn my daughter was I think like she was 12 months old at the time yeah and i was really strapped for cash and i had to buy a, a microphone to do the recording and it was some gaming mic from pc world it was like 40 pounds and i was really worried that i wasn't going to get that money back i was like i'm never gonna you know make this money back i'm wasting my money but yeah after i launched the course i think within the first two weeks i'd made two thousand us dollars um, which was enough to buy a new laptop, buy proper recording gear. And that was really the start of, of A Cloud Guru, really. That's how it all, all started.